Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 5759. This bill simply says that the President cannot issue blanket amnesty. This legislation also contains language that is similar to my own bill, the Defense of Legal Workers Act, H.R. 5761. It states clearly that illegal immigrants who are granted executive amnesty are not authorized to work in the United States. When we talk about illegal immigration, we always hear about what we should do to help the illegal immigrants. But what about the American workers? Who is going to stand up for them? There is this toxic intersection of this executive amnesty and the Affordable Care Act. Under the ACA, employers with 50 or more workers will have to provide health insurance or pay a $3,000 fine. But under the President's amnesty, illegal immigrants are exempt from the ACA. That means with their new work permits, illegal immigrants will be, be $3,000 cheaper to hire. That will drive companies to hire illegal immigrants instead of legal American workers. Or worse yet, get rid of American workers in exchange for cheaper replacements. This bill is a small step, but I will vote for any bill that stops executive amnesty. That includes stopping the funding and supporting my own bill that protects American workers. Let's remember that we have been put in this position by a president who campaigned on the slogan of, yes, we can, burns under the philosophy of, because I want to. I yield back the balance of my time.